guys, we're back. So we're gonna go inside to one of our new listings. It's gonna hit the market in a couple of weeks here, right? So we're shooting two things at once now. I got the live going, and we got the listing tour going. Well, part of the listing tour. Well, actually, no, this isn't either. This is just vlog content, right? Taj is great. Say what up to the live. No, not there, oh, there. Okay, I <laughs> say what up to the live. How you doing? We got Miss Aisha of Church on the live. Taj is great. All right, so, oh, should probably get the keys out, right? Okay, so right here I'm going into the, it would most likely would be the master bedroom. And what I like to do in master bedrooms is just make it look as cozy and welcoming as possible. I'm definitely gonna put some curtains up in here, a rug, some plush pillows, some end tables, a bureau over here, and then have some nice artwork to kind of set it off. So what I would like is for when the buyer to walk in and really envision themselves sleeping in this space, waking up to the bright sun shine that comes in and just enjoying it and hopefully that will be a win all right so here we are in the kitchen lucky um i thought i remember you saying it was pretty spacious so i'm not working with a whole lot in here but it is perfect for the buyer because they probably don't need all that extra space and so my guess is they're not going to be spending a lot of time in the condo they're going to be out and about enjoying boston and what all it has to offer so i'm not going to be able to put um, an island here or a table but what i would like to do is put a nice bar height table over here with two stools and allow the buyer to envision themselves sitting there having a glass of wine, prepping their food, maybe bringing some, putting some groceries away and getting ready for the week. So that's what I'm thinking right now. And right here we have the second bedroom. So I'm gonna actually stage this as a another full bedroom. And the reason for that is I'm guessing that the buyer is most likely going to be uh, either a single or a young couple and that are looking for that extra that extra room whether it be for a guest space or maybe they're renting it out maybe it's their roommate space so it is possible as well that it could be a young family uh, but doing my research and talking to you lucky it sounds like it's probably going to be um, a younger couple moving into this space so we also have the bathroom so i'm just going to put shower curtain up in here um, with some pictures as well so i think that that i'll make sure to tie in all those colors so instead of taking away make it look make it look nice and welcoming so statement piece in here i would say would probably be the the artwork that i'm going to use as well as i'm going to put a nice round mirror above the above the couch and i'm guessing that the person who's going to be buying this is most likely going to have more of a modern feel because we are near boston and so i'm going to play off that and um i'm looking forward to getting started so thank you for for thinking of me let me know if you have any questions and i'll talk soon right now the stager has started but she's not done yet so we're going to just take a look see you know how she's doing Wait, my HGTV moment. Wow. Oh, wow. Come on in. Wow. All right, no, all jokes aside, though, it is wow. So this was totally empty, right? Um, give them a look around. Let them see what they're working with. So totally empty. She, as you can see, she's starting to put some stuff in here. Now, I'm not going to give the live the whole tour because I wanted to see it when it's done, right? But you can see she's starting to do it. So actually, Take a look at that kitchen though, because that is nice. You see things are gonna be moved around still, but you got the brand new stove, brand new fridge, right? New backsplash, new flooring. This condo is gonna be beautiful. It's in the Austin Brighton area. It's a two bed, one bath. For more information on that, make sure you check my YouTube channel daily, check my Facebook. Who knows where I'm gonna post it? And I'm just kidding. It'll, it'll be on Facebook for sure when it's time to go, right? And also we're gonna have the list of video coming out, some behind the scenes on how we got this thing. Hello. Hello, Lucky. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Awesome. This looks amazing. Thank you. I Thank know. you for coming today. Well, of course. I'm going to come check it out. Tell yes. me. Oh, wow. Like, I'm not almost at a loss for words. Like, take me through it. Show me why you picked these pieces. It's amazing. Of course. So, this is a lovely condo in Boston. It's a two bedroom. And my goal here was kind of to appeal to the potential buyer. So, what I generally do is I research the area and I try to find out most likely who's going to be buying mm -hmm. this home and what is their lifestyle like and what kind of style they most likely going to gravitate to yep. and so right here we have more of a kind of a, a modern flair 
and we want to make sure that they're able to envision themselves in this space. And I want to keep it relatively neutral mm -hmm. as far as the colors go. So pops of color here and there, but we don't want to get too crazy gold. Um, so I try to incorporate all of those together and pull the pops of color that gotcha. come from. So this would most likely be considered the master bedroom. And I, cr I try to depict a, a nice, comfortable setting. And so as you can see with the bed here, um, it looks nice and plush. You just kind of want to jump into it. Um, maybe have a day where you sleep in and just get kind of cozy. And I also want to make sure that there's curtains in here as well, because as you can see, um, at times you might want to pull those curtains for some, for some privacy. But I also kept it relatively neutral. I kind of carried the blue throughout this room and put a nice little carpet and another book in here as well. But when you think about the bedroom, you want to, there's, there's different things that you want to draw attention to. So there is a little bit of femininity in this room. Mm -hmm. So this right here is the second bedroom. And again, um, I wanted to keep it relatively neutral with the colors, but I do have that pop of yellow in here as well. That again, kind of ties in the other rooms. Most likely the buyer here is, is going to be either a young couple or single family, um, pot potentially young family as well, but I found that it tended to be more um, younger, either couples or, or um, a single buyer. So they might need this room for a guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. What I love is like the detail you put in, like as you stage it, not only do you have like the painting on the wall, you have the books down there, the little statue. Is that a llama? <laughs> what do you think it is? That's what I think well, it so is. Yes, yes. Yeah? It's a funky modernish llama. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, all the detail, like this really feels like people live here, right? I guarantee, exactly. Right? I really guarantee you I'm going to get that question. Does someone actually live here? You have to somehow tie these colors in so they don't look so mm -hmm. like it. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so then this kind of like you have the beige yeah. and the pink. Um, same with the pictures too. Yes. So that's why I went with that. Gotcha. If that makes sense. No, it does. And now, one of the things that I obviously sell home, the kitchen. Talk to us about this, because this looks so, amazing. Yes, here we go. Here's the kitchen. So we have a nice little sitting area here uh, where two people could kind of chat, have their breakfast, have their dinner together, a nice glass of wine. And then we also have the, the area over here, of course, your sink and your stove. Um, and we want to, again, kind of create a, a look that is appeals to the vast majority, that looks like it's lived in, but yet you take all of the, um, I guess, the personality of the previous owners out of it because we want to kind of neutralize it. And we want to, so the buyer to be able to visualize themselves sitting down and enjoying the space and creating this Does this clock work? It does, yes. Oh, that's so cool. Hope, hopefully millennials know how to tell time on that thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs>